On this episode of 5 Minutes of Cloud, software as a service on OpenStack as a service. So OpenStack can support software services much like it supports platform services. Uh, in this case, we're really looking at OpenStack again as an infrastructure as a service management component, enabling uh, entities to deploy and manage the scale out aspect of their software services. Now there are folks that are actually providing uh, catalogs of applications uh, that, that can be deployed within this infrastructure service. So the end users are looking for, uh, for example, a, a, a scalable collaboration platform that they need to, to use for their internal uh, internal processes or external processes for that matter. And they'd like to deploy that service. Um, in some cases, it's easier for them to say, I would like that service. Here's my catalog of 50 different possible applications that I can consume. And I'd like to turn one of those on. Um, OpenStack has a project uh, that's part of the big tent environment. So basically follows the same OpenStack deployment and services models, but it's not considered a core component of OpenStack. Um, that's called the Murano project. Uh, and Murano it provides that catalog entity. It uses another component of the OpenStack community called the heat template environment. Uh, um, which uh, enables a way of describing a set of different uh, resources, all of the compute resources that are needed, plus models for how to actually get the application services deployed in them if they're not pre-built images, um, the networking connectivity that, that's required and security between the components, uh, and the, the, the underlying storage resources that, that are needed. Um, mapping all those components together in, in, in a template, this heat template model, is something that then can be exposed to the end users rather than exposing them as a heat template itself, they expose it as a bundle with a few input parameters that are required to actually complete the deployment of the application. Um, this is a very important component within the OpenStack space because it provides a way for software services to be deployed. Now, if you've seen our previous episode on software as a service, one of the things that I talked about was the fact that many people are now starting to take these software applications and bundle them and tie them together as well, and just use that as their way of developing new services and resources. Well, in the OpenStack space, there currently isn't a tool that helps you do that, um, but it is now possible to say, well, I know that I have these eight different software application components that I can deploy as a service so I can deploy them as I need. For example, a, a data storage service or a data manipulation and translation service, for example, I can deploy those services, stitch them together with their APIs, and actually produce new technologies, new capabilities, using OpenStack and the Murano application environment as a way of managing the software that gets deployed for those services and resources. So this is a way of dealing with software services in the OpenStack environment. Um, again, software as a service has lots of different ways of considering itself, uh, but providing software applications on an on-demand basis, uh, effectively the ca application catalog model of that, is really where OpenStack fits best into the SaaS system support space. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. In addition, if you want to stay apprised of the latest ongoing updates in the cloud space, uh, sign up for our Twitter feed and our mailing list. We also update you on upcoming webinars and classes that we provide.